hello guys and welcome back to the same workshop so right here is what the piping look like before we pipe it you can see very simple so i'm going to take you guys through the process and if you're new here make sure you subscribe right here is the neck i already cut out the uh the senator itself so all we just have to do is just to apply it to the neck side so without further ado, I'm going to take you guys through the process and if you jump any of this video, you might not get what I'm about to do. So right here is the bias, as you can see. You're going to cut out your fabric in bias, that's you're going to cut it in slant. And I'm going to cut 2.5 inch on this one. Let me zoom in so that you guys can see. I'm going to cut 2.5 inch of the bias, I already chalk it and I already mark it. So I'll be cutting exactly the length of the neck. So I'm just cutting the neck itself is a total of 18.5. So here I'll be cutting 20 just to have um, an extra space. So you can see here I have over 20, which is still good for me. So right there, the yellow fabric that I will be using for the for the tape at the side i'm going to cut exactly the same size of the neck that i have here so i'm just going to measure it in one inch i'm going to chalk it one inch also if it is your first time here make sure you like the video and hit on the subscribe button to get notified when i upload more video next thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to roll it around and cut out the one inch out So after cutting out the one inch, as you can see, they are of the same size. The next thing we're going to do is to fold in the first one, our first um, pipe, our first neck pipe. I'm going to fold it. You, you possibly have seen a video that I done on how to pipe a senator's neck before, but this one is just that I'm going to use another color in order to tape it round. You can see. So I already cut out the borders itself. So the next thing I did is I fold it into two. I fold it into double. You can see that. It's a very simple process. I fold it into, into double. If you have not seen a video on how to pipe a neck, I'm going to put a description. I'm going to put a video on the description below. You can follow that process. Just, just fold it just like this. And the next thing I'll be doing is I'm going to insert the aiming gum inside of the pipe. That's what is going to hold it down and make it firm. This part is very, very important. And make sure you are not jumping the video. Make sure you watch it from beginning to the end. Because if you don't, you're going to miss some certain steps that I will be showing you guys in this video. So just insert your pipe, insert your aiming gum in between the in between the neck. You can see that. Very simple. And you're going to iron it at the side iron it so that's going to lay very very well that side is very important make sure it's lay very well if you like the video so far make sure you hit on the like button Make sure it's lay very well. I like to show you guys everything that I'm, I'm doing inside each of my video. I like for you guys to be able to follow it and get exactly the same result, if not better. So make sure you iron it very well. Make sure it's smooth. And the edges are very, very sharp. You can see that. So after, after you get this smooth pipe, the next thing you're going to do is to fold it together. Yes, just like that. You're going to fold it together. And you're going to make sure it's laid flat very well.
this side is quite important that's why i'm trying to show you guys what i'm doing and how you can achieve exactly the same thing Make sure you give it a thorough, thorough ironing. Make sure it's lay very flat. You can see what we have so far. You can see what we have so far. So the next thing we are going to do is on the, on the tip. That's what is going to be inside of the pipe. It's just going to be a very simple one. Just fold it into two. Uh, on this one, I'll be looking for the right side because the right side has to be the one up. This is not the right side actually. So, okay, that's the right side. So I'm going to fold it. So the right side will be the one outside while the wrong side will be the one inside. So I'm just going to fold this side. Very simple. Just fold it straight. Make sure they are of the same size and make sure it, I, when ironing the edges of the fabric come out very sharp because that's the most important part of the piping. It has to be very sharp and straight. Very important. So you're just going to cut this. You're just going to iron this like that. Very simple. So after you iron it, you're going to put an emmy gum inside it as well. You're going to cut your emmy gum into half very simple and you're going to iron it so that it's going to lay flat inside after you have that so this is what it's going to look like you can easily input it to your to your pipe just like that and you're going to set how much you want it to come out or how little you want it to be mostly i like it to be very tiny so you'll be the one to set it up. But before we get into that, we, are, we have to use an emmy gum to hold it tight. So let's do that as fast as possible. This is the most important part. So you have to pay closer, closer, closer attention. You're going to cut your emmy gum into half. You can see that. And after you cut it into half, it will be of the same size as of the half of the pipe. You can see it right there. So you're going to put it inside that place. And you're going to just like you want to like gum the two together you're going to fold it on it and iron it don't forget you're going to fold it on it and iron it after this you still need to open it back so this part is very very important you can see you're going you're going to need to open it back input this one as well Make sure you iron it and the gum actually melts inside of the pipe. After that is done, you're going to open it back. That's very important. Open it back. So you can see we have the gum inside of the pipe after you open it back. You can see that. That's the very, very important part. So the next thing we're going to do now after you open it, you're going to input your pipe and you're going to set exactly how much you want to show outside are you getting you're going to set exactly how much you want to show outside of the pipe you're going to set it so if you iron it now the yellow part the tape is going to stand firm and it's going to hold inside the pipe without coming out again can see that you can see that what you just have to do is just to you can see what we have so you're going to do exactly the same thing round the pipe you can see you're going to do exactly the same thing around the pipe and after that this is what we have so far you can see you can see how simple that is 
just to make sure it is straight you still have to adjust some part of it that may not look straight make sure it is straight so the next thing we are going to do now is to apply it to our our uh, our bodice we're going to need to apply it to our neck so the next thing we're going to do now is to go onto the sewing machine and let's do that right now so i already slit the chest of my neck that's where the lapel is going to be the placket so that's where the placket is going to be so the next thing i'm going to do now is to pipe the neck just input your tape just like that Just like that, placing your pipe. You can see. Fold it over. Very simple. And at this part, you your hand has to be very straight when stitching, because you have to, you have to stitch at the edge of the pipe itself. I'm using a blue thread, so you have to stitch on top of the blue itself, and it has to be very, very straight. Let me off the light so that you guys can see. Okay, so you see what I'm doing? Your hand has to be very, 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 very straight in this one. So just stitch it just like that. So, after this, you can see what we have. It's at the tip of the blue, you can see. So, I'll be doing the tape. I already had one tape now, so I had to do two stitches. I'll be doing two. The total will be three stitch on the neckline. I'm just going to run the second stitch. I'm going to run the third stitch also. So, so far this is what we have and this is what our neck looks like. Next thing you're going to do is to insert your plaquettes. You can see. So just take your time to give it a clean iron and make sure it lay very well and this is what we have so far just need to iron it and make sure it's balanced and lay very 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 well 